Today we're working in your grade three, module three um, interactive notebook or your multiplication and division notebook. Uh, today we are working on the second input page using a letter to represent an unknown input page. So make sure you have this in front of you. All right, let's get started uh, jumping into this page. We start out with some sentences. When we are writing equations to match story problems, we can use a blank to represent the unknown. We can use a letter. So let's write letter in there. So when we're writing equations to match story problems and we don't know what um, a number is going to be, we can replace it with a letter. You can choose blank letter you want, any letter you want. It does not have to match the story problem. I know a lot of people like it to match the story problem. So for example, if you're trying to find the number of cookies, you would use a C, but you don't have to. I know a lot of my students used, used to like to use the letter that their name started with, and that is totally fine. You'll find as you get older, a lot of times the unknown number is represented by an X, and that's because they, do, they write their multiplication differently. For us, X is a confusing letter because you might not understand if you're supposed to multiply or if it's an unknown letter. But really, any letter is fine. O is another one you might want to stay away from because it does look like zero. Okay, let's move on. Oh, it looks like we have a story problem. Nine rabbits lived in a garden. Each rabbit had four babies. Baby rabbits are called kits. Kit is short for kitten. How many kits lived in the garden? Okay, so we have two labels here, multiplication and division. That's because this story problem can be solved using multiplication or division. And so we're gonna do it both ways. If you wanna draw a line between the two, you can. It just shows on this side we're doing multiplication, on this side we're doing division. So the first thing I always do is draw a picture. So it says nine rabbits lived in a garden. Each rabbit had four babies. So I'm gonna draw nine circles to represent the nine rabbits. Nine, okay? And then I'm gonna put four in each circle to represent the four babies or kits that each rabbit had. So this is my model. Remember, a model just helps us show what we're thinking. It's not gonna solve the problem for us, but it shows what we're thinking. Okay, so mine looks like this. You could have done a tape diagram or a number line or a number bond, um, even an array would be fine, whatever makes the most sense to you. Now, I need to write an equation because that's what we're practicing. So in this equation for multiplication, my model shows nine groups of four, which is nine times four. And I'm going to put what that equals. Now, I might already know the answer uh, because I've been working on my multiplication facts. But even if I know the answer, I still want to put an unknown to show what we're solving for. I'm going to put K in this case because I like to have my letters match the problem. You can put any letter you want. So 9 times 4 equals K. Then I can solve and I can say K equals... 36 kits. Now your teacher may want you to have labels like nine bunnies, nine rabbits, times four babies per bunny or kits per bunny, and then this would say kits. And if your teacher wants you to do that, you should do that. Okay, so that's how I solved it for multiplication. Now I'm gonna look at division. My model for division is going to look the exact same way as my model for multiplication. That's because whether I solve using multiplication or division doesn't change the fact that I have nine rabbits and each rabbit has four babies. So I'm just going to make my model again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got my nine circles for my nine rabbits. I'm going to put four in for each baby. Four. Four, four, four. But my equation's gonna change because I'm not using multiplication, I'm using division. When I'm dividing, I'm taking the total and putting it into smaller groups. In this case, do I know how many 
kits there are, how many baby rabbits there are. I do because I just solved it using multiplication, but for the sense of problem solving, I don't, and that's gonna be my letter. So K equals, that's my total number of babies. Oh, I'm sorry, not K equals, K divided by. So I have a certain number of babies and I need to divide them to each rabbit. Right, here's your babies, Mrs. Rabbit. Here's your babies, Mrs. Rabbit. And how many mother rabbits do I have? Nine. I'm assuming they're mother rabbits, it doesn't say. Okay, so if I have all these babies and I give them to all equally to the nine different rabbits, each rabbit ends up with four babies. That would make my K equal to 36 kits again. So I get the same answer. Obviously in this case, it's much, much easier to solve it by multiplying. It would not make sense to solve this problem using division. The reason I included both multiplication and division here is that I want you to see that the equation can be written either way using the letter for the unknown. Let's do another one. Mr. Jones made cookies for his kids. He made 32 cookies. If Mr. Jones has four kids, how many cookies did each kid get? This time I'm starting with a whole. And so division is gonna make the most sense to solve this problem. So that's what I'm going to do first. I've drawn my line down the middle to show division on this side, multiplication on this side. And I'm going to look. So he had 32 cookies. I can um, draw that by making 32 little circles. So that's what I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, I've got 32 circles. Those are the 32 cookies he has. If Mr. Jones has four kids, how many cookies did each kid get? Okay, I think I'm gonna change my model and that's okay. I, I should have read the whole problem again to remember because how am I gonna divide these 32 cookies into four equal groups? That's gonna be really hard. So instead, right underneath, I'm gonna make some boxes, four boxes. So each kid gets a box and then I'm gonna put a cookie in each box until I've passed them all out. So I'm gonna to count to 32 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, I'm gonna scribble out my 32 cookies above because they have now been passed out to all the kids. And you can see by the tick marks that each kid got eight cookies, which is going to be my answer. But it's time for me to write my equation with a letter as the unknown. So I know I had 32 cookies and I divided them up for the four kids and each kid ended up getting a total number of cookies. I'm gonna make my letter C. You can make your letter whatever you want. And then because I made my model, I know that C equals eight cookies. Okay, that's what I have. Now for multiplication. So in this case, I need to figure out how many groups I have and how many cookies go in each group. Well, I have four kids, so those are my four groups. So I have four, four groups times I don't know how many cookies are in each group, so that's where I put my letter. C, cookies. I have four kids, they each got some number of cookies, and there was a total of 32 cookies. I didn't draw my model, I'll go ahead and draw that now. And because I already did the work over for division, I'm just gonna put eights in here, instead of counting to 32 again, okay? 
And then I know that C equals eight cookies. So we keep getting the same answer both ways, but there's always an easier way to do it. For the first problem, it was easier to multiply. For this problem, it's easier to divide. But you don't have to do it that way. If all you want to do is multiply, you can do it. It just is a little more confusing, I think. Okay, let's look at the last problem. There are six banana bunches in a bowl. Each bunch of bananas has five bananas. How many bananas are in the bowl? Since it's asking what the total is, I know it's easier to multiply, so I'll start there. Okay, six banana bunches. So I'm gonna draw six circles, three, four, five, six. So each circle represents one bunch of bananas. In so the bunch has five bananas, so I'm gonna put five in each circle. So that shows my thinking. Six bunches of bananas, five bananas in each bunch. For my multiplication equation, my first number shows the number of groups, six times, how many are in each group? Five, and that's gonna equal a total number of bananas. So I'm gonna have my letter B, B. And then I know, because I know my five times facts, that B equals 30 bananas. All right, let's divide. Again, division is not the easiest way to solve this problem, but what we're working on here is writing our equations. So my model can look the same, although this time I think I'm gonna do a tape diagram, just because. So I'm gonna have six boxes because I have six bunches of bananas. Five goes in each box. And I've got a little model there. Okay, for division, we start with our total. Remember, we were solving for the total, so that's going to be our letter. B divided by, so B divided into six groups. So you have a whole bunch of bananas. They're in six different groups, and there are five in each group. And so B equals 30 bananas. Hopefully this is helpful for you doing some together. You're going to tackle some more story problems on your own. Remember to solve them both ways. Start with the way that feels easiest to you and then use what you learn there to solve your other problem or solve it the other way. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.